All right, hello everyone. My name is Corey of Ayurveda. It seems like it's a good time for most earthlings to be meditating a little bit more. Um, and it seems a lot, a lot of people right now have more free time. And so a lot of the excuses for why one cannot meditate are not valid right now. And so why not just practice some meditation, you guys? So this is a guided meditation that I actually just taught to um, a student who came over and I recorded it and I asked their permission, hey, do you mind if I just upload this to give to other people to practice? So you guys are going to get a free guided meditation that normally people who come over here would pay for and of course get a lot of other cool lessons along the way. Now, two techniques we will do. This is, I am teaching from the Kriya Yoga tradition. I was initiated into Kriya Yoga in 2008, and I've continued to practice this every day to this day. Um, Shashumna breathing is essentially breathing and pulling up, imagining, you have to imagine it first, but you imagine inhaling with your nose, imagine a cool current running from the base, of the base chakra, the base of the spine, up the back of the spine, over the top of the head into the spiritual eye. Hold it there at the top of the breath, looking slightly up, and then exhale and imagine it a warm current flowing down the spine. That's all there is to it. And also, this is like the beginning of Kriya, of the Kriya Yoga Pranayama. So this is a very, very good pranayama technique. The Shashumna is the central channel. There's the Ida, the Pingala, and the Shashumna. So Shashumna breathing refers to this practice causes one to breathe in a new way that elicits the most super conscious states of awareness, we could say. The next, so we're going to do that. You're going to hear me. I'm going to talk about doing the Shashumna breathing, and you're going to want to follow along with me and inhale and go. And you do that 12 times on the last one, pull the current up and just keep the current there. And, and just stay with your awareness there as you exhale and try to just ab abide in this higher brain, higher chakra center. And then after that, we're going to do some what we call chanting to the chakras. At least that's what it was called in my tradition. This is done in a lot of yoga traditions. So you might have had some variation in your tradition or something as well. But... You basically just start with the base, the tailbone, the base of the spine. You chant lum, 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 lum silently. And then you move up to the small of the back, the space in between those two kind of tailbone, those two kind of bones that stick out of your back. The sacral chakra, chant vum, vum, vum. And then you move up to the navel, the space behind the belly button, and chant rum, rum, rum. And then you move up to the heart, dorsal blades. You can even kind of move your shoulder blades a little bit to get a feeling response there, a sensation. And then you chant yum, yum, yum. And then you move up to the throat chakra, and you chant hum, hum, hum. And then you move up to the sixth chakra, ajna, chant om, om. Om, and then you move up to the crown and you chant Om again at a higher pitch, or just the same Om. Don't be too worried about that. But then you chant Om again, and then you just go back down. Then Om, then Hum, Yum, Rum, Vum, and Lum, and you can do this as many times as you like. Um, and this helps to practice. This is a great practice for Pratyahara or the uh, internalization of attention. So if you're having trouble when you meditate. Being able to keep your awareness internalized, do this one, and it's very good. And you can do this for as long as you want, and some people even like to actually station there and spend 24 minutes at a time at each chakra for very serious yogis. So I think that's all I need to cover for this. So now I hope you guys um, can enjoy this free meditation offering that I just gave to someone on my back porch. I hope you enjoy it. Um, you can hear the frogs, and we had a nice rainy day here. It's the new moon in Taurus, um, and there wasn't anything too loud or distracting, so I hope that this is a helpful meditation for you guys. Hari Om. Um, so let's do the Shashumna breathing thing first, though, where we like pull the current up, 
and then let it flow back down and we imagine like a cool current moving up you know and you're breathing with the nose and then you exhale imagine like a warm flowing energy going on the spine and count them on your fingers and when you have done 12 you can um, just pull it up to the crown and then just leave it there and abide there okay Just turn your attention within, open your mind and your heart to the infinite. Let your awareness be in the heart and the space between the shoulder blades or in the spiritual eye. Let's just breathe here for a moment, feel ourselves calming down. If you already have begun, let's do the Shashumna breathing, pulling the current up.
last one, just leave it on the crown and just abide there in that stillness. As you're abiding in this more thought-free state, keep your awareness alert. Don't let yourself get passive or daydreaming. Just continue observing keenly. expectation of discovery. Now if you like, we can do the chanting to the chakras, or if you already began doing it, that's fine. Start at Lum, and I'll guide you through a few, and then you can just do them on your own. Starting at the base chakra, Lum, chanting Lum. Moving up to the sacral chakra, Vam, Vam, Vam. Moving up to the navel chakra, Ram. Up to the heart chakra, yum.
Up to the throat chakra. Hum. To the spiritual eye center, Om, Om, Om. To the crown chakra, Om again in a higher pitch. Now let's go back down, down to the spiritual eye, oh. down to the throat chakra, hum. Down to the dorsal, yum. Down to the navel, rum. Down to the sacral, rum. Down to the root, lum. And now we'll go more quickly up and down it. Okay, root chakra, lum. Sacral chakra, rum. Navel chakra, rum. Heart chakra, yum. Throat chakra, hum. Spiritual eye, om. Crown Chakra, Om. Now going back down, Crown, Om. Spiritual Eye, Om. Throat Chakra, Hum. Dorsal, Yum.
navel, rum. Sacral, bum, root, lum, and I'll back up and we'll stop at the crown. Lum, lum, rum, yum, hum. Um, um. Let's pause here and buy in the Now observe the contents of your mind. With any luck you perhaps can observe thoughts with more dispassionate objectivity now and thoughts are less invasive. And you can simply abide in this state of I am. Remind yourself that your essence of being is pure consciousness. We are not this body or even this mind. We are no thing but that pure existence beingness. That witness that has been witnessing our entire lives. Every cell in our body has grown and decayed, but something has been here the whole time. Now for these last few moments, let's visualize the planet Earth and just simply wish for the highest good of everyone, everywhere, in all realms, impersonally, without expectation of return, impartially. We just simply wish for the highest good of all beings everywhere. imagine planet Earth first starting with North America and South America. Visualize the highest good for that entire part of the globe. And 
now the Pacific Ocean, the entire Pacific Ocean, all the countless life forms there, highest good. Asia, Australia, India, highest good. Eurasia, Africa, Europe, highest good. The Atlantic Ocean, all the life there, highest good. And as we wish for the highest good of everyone, everywhere, we also include our own self in that. And as we go about our day, we know that we have the full support of the universe and of its natural unfoldments of nature. And we have the full support of God's grace. We don't have to deserve it. It's freely given. We must merely be receptive to it. Let's chant Om for the healing of mind, body, and soul. Shanti Shanti Hari Om Shanti May absolute peace pervade the universe